In this video, I'll teach you a number of alternate methods for setting task dependencies in Microsoft Project. Did you know that in Microsoft Project there are a number of different ways to set task dependencies in your project schedules? In this video, I'll show you some of these alternate methods, so let's get started. The most common method for setting task dependencies in Microsoft Project is to select the tasks that you want to link, and then to click the Link the Selected Tasks button in the Task ribbon. When you do this, Microsoft Project will automatically set a Finish to Start dependency on each selected task. The oldest method for setting task dependencies is to manually type the ID number of the predecessor task in the predecessor's cell for each task individually. So, for example, for the task Design 2, its predecessor is number 1. And for Design 3, its predecessor is ID number 2. If you want a dependency type other than Finish to Start, you can actually add a little bit of secret code. So, for example, what I would like for task number three is a predecessor relationship with task number two that is start to start. Here's the secret code that you can type. Type two, followed by the letters SS. When you press the Enter key, you end up with a start-to-start -start dependency. Now let's go ahead and undo that. There's another interesting method you can use, and that is to click in the cell in the predecessor's column for a task, and then on the menu, choose its predecessor. So for task number two, I can select task number one, for task number three, I can choose task number two, and so forth. But wait, there's another way to use this feature. Let me undo this. Here is what I want. The task design five must be a direct successor to design one individually, design two individually, three, four, as well. So each one of these four tasks should be an individual predecessor to design five. Here's how to do that. If I click in the predecessor's cell for design five, click the pick list button, and then I choose design one, two, three, and four, watch what happens. All four of those tasks are individual predecessors to task number five, the design five task. But wait, there's even more ways to set task dependencies. Another way is to double click the task of interest and then go to the predecessors tab in the task information dialog. In this dialog in the task name column, you can actually click the task name pick list, choose the task you're interested in. By default, Microsoft Project will automatically select the task type of finish to start with no lag. When you click OK, bingo, it sets that task dependency. Here's another method you can use. You can right-click anywhere in the white or gray part of the Gantt chart screen. Then on the shortcut menu, you can choose Show Split. In the Task Form pane, in the Predecessor Name column on the right side of that pane, you can click the Pick List, choose its predecessor, then you can choose the type. So for example, I'd like Finish to Start, and no lag. 
When I click OK, bingo. Then I can click the button called Next. Let's do it again. And this time, the predecessor will be Design 2, except this time I want Start to Start with no lag. I'll click OK. Then I'll click Next. Let's do it one more time. This time I'll choose Design 3, and I want Finish to Start. Whoops, missed it there. Finish to Start. Except I want five days of lag time. And when I click OK, bingo. There, it sets all those dependencies. Now let's back these off. And let's do one more method for setting task dependencies. And that is, in the task form pane, you can right mouse click and see the shortcut menu of additional sets of details. If you select the set of details called predecessors and successors, you can now, for each task individually, select its predecessors and select its successors. So for task number two, I want its predecessor to be design one, and I'll make it finish to start, and its successor will be design three, and let's go ahead and make it start to start. And when I click OK, there we have it. Now, if you know any other methods for setting task dependencies, be sure and leave your message for me in the comment section below. Well, now you know a number of additional methods for setting task dependencies in Microsoft Project. Maybe you found a new one that will work best for you. As always, I trust this video was helpful to you. If it was, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you've not done so already. Also, if you'd like to hire me to train the project managers and schedulers in your organization, please leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you right away. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.